This is seven national news and in our top story. His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UA Armed Forces, met with Serbia's President Tomislav Nikolic to discuss cooperation and friendship ties between the two countries and the best ways of enhancing them for mutual interests. The talks took place during President Nikolic's reception of the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and his accompanying delegation at the Presidential Palace in Belgrade on Friday. The Crown Prince said that he was delighted to meet President Nikolic and discuss with him issues that support plans to enhance joint economic and trade cooperation, as well as development projects between the UAE and Serbia. The two sides affirmed that they were looking forwards to stronger coordination and cooperation in areas that serve mutual interests and also working together to expand and diversify their joint economic and investment partnerships. His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UA Armed Forces, also met with the Serbian Prime Minister Alexander Vucic to discuss bilateral cooperation. The Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi stated that the meeting represented an important milestone towards an expanding and strengthening avenues of joint existing cooperation between the two countries. For his part, the Serbian Prime Minister indicated that both the public and private sectors in Serbia were interested in crystallizing innovative ideas in order to establish joint projects with the UAE, given its stellar performance and progress in many sectors, including the economy, tourism and services. The UAE Armed Forces have pledged their commitment to the protection of the National Railway Network through a major memorandum of understanding. The MOU was signed by Etihad's acting CEO, engineer Faris Saif al mazrui and Major General Staff Pilot Ishak al blushi from the UAE Armed Forces, where both parties will work together through close coordination and through the exchange of information to secure the protection of the national rail network. Under the agreement, the UA Armed Forces will secure protection for Etihad Rail's facilities and vital installations, including stations, terminals, yards and depots. Etihad Rail will also provide a link for five key military logistics centres operated by the UA Armed Forces and the Ministry of Defence. According to a statement, Etihad Rail is currently also finalising another MOU with the UA Ministry of Interior in order to protect the rail tracks of the rail National Railway. Once fully operational, Etihad Rail will cater to both freight and passengers, spanning approximately 1,200 kilometres across the UAE. The Dubai Electricity and Water Authority has relaunched its annual Be Water Smart campaign. The campaign raises awareness on the importance of rationalising water consumption, protecting the environment, conserving natural resources and finding sustainable solutions for extracting and using them. His Excellency Saeed Mohammed Al Tayyar, the Managing Director and CEO of DIWA, was quoted as saying that as 97% of water produced in Dubai is desalinated, an energy intensive process, Reducing water consumption is necessary to save fuel consumption and to reduce carbon emissions. The campaign targets residential areas as when compared to the industrial and commercial sectors in 2013, water consumption was highest in the residential sector with 58.41% of total water use. Commercial customers use 28%, non-commercial buildings use 10.67%, while industrial customers used 2.92%. Similar to last year, the campaign includes a comprehensive program to educate consumers about steps they can take in their daily lives in order to reduce water consumption and save water resources. These include promoting the use of efficient water fixtures, such as water taps and shower heads equipped with flow reducers, 
using environmentally friendly home appliances, as well as regular inspections for water leaks. Officials from the Emirates Identity Authority have announced that the Emirates ID card and the identity and management infrastructure is likely to become an integral part of the electronic payment system in the UAE, offering payment options similar to that of a credit and debit card. According to news agency WAM, the authority's ID management system developed over the past few years will form a foundation for the national e-payment system that will offer more secure features that will introduce a first-of-a-kind model internationally. As per the research paper published by the Emirates ID Authority, the Smart ID possesses advanced capabilities, ranging from encryption, digital signatures, and strong authentication. The research paper prepared by Dr. Mohammed al Khuri, the Director General of the Emirates Identity Authority, further stressed that the ID will offer a secure and a reliable e-payment system in the country, adding that alternate payment methods are expected to become more dominant in the future as digital cash overtakes future cash. The research paper's recommendations come weeks after Al Hilal Bank announced that its customers can use Emirates ID for ATM transactions. Sharjah is set to adopt new zip codes under a new initiative, as announced by Sheikh Khalid bin Sultan Al Kazmi, the chairman of the Sharjah Urban Planning Council. According to a local daily, the initiative is scheduled to start on October the 1st and will be implemented in coordination with the Department of Planning and Survey and the Emirates Post Group in the areas of Al Majaz 2 and Rahmania 5. The system will also be linked to geographical information systems as per international standards, which further integrates into the proposed federal postcode system. Engineer Khaled Mohammed Al Ahli, the Secretary General of the UPC, revealed the zip codes will consist of five digits the country, the emirate, the city area, and the neighborhood. Abu Dhabi police have launched an initiative to raise awareness on pilgrims' safety. This comes as a part of its social campaign under the slogan of Your Safety, which looks to help promote public awareness of safety and prevention requirements. Major General Mohammed bin Al Awadi Al Menhali, the Director General of Police Operations at Abu Dhabi Police, said that the initiative complements past initiatives and he called upon pilgrims across the country to comply with the instructions issued by the relevant authorities in Saudi Arabia upon arrival. He noted that the concerned authorities at the Customs Department at the Al Gawafat border will provide tents with amenities and medical services, as well as water, juices, dates and normal meals. He added that coordination is also underway with the Security Media Department to broadcast a number of awareness ads on giant screens installed in shopping malls across Abu Dhabi and also at a number of residential buildings. And finally, looking to other news now, with the festivities of Eid al Atta and Diwali just weeks away, many UAE residents flocked over to this year's Divalicious, which was being held over the weekend for some glamorous attire and accessories. Running throughout the weekend, shoppers were spoilt for choice at the exhibition, which took place at Emirates Towers, with a range of jewellery, dresses, ornaments and handbags to choose from. The popular exhibition was back for its seventh year and featured over 90 exhibitors and designers from the UAE, India and Pakistan. It was a shopper's paradise for those looking to dress like divas, with a number of offerings from designers of Bollywood celebrities at the Regal Arena. Among the renowned designers that participated this year included Sonakshi Raj, Valian by Nitya Arora, Maywish Mughal and Vijay Gupta, to name just a few. According to the organisers, high sales were expected over the weekend, with many people on a shopping spree to prepare for the festive holiday season ahead.
This year, we because the festivities are around the corner, we've introduced um, a Royal Arena, which has a lot of uh, Fashion Week designers, and plus we have these designers have been associated with celebrities. They design clothes for them. They design clothes for Bollywood movies. That's an, a very added attraction. Plus, we have um, human statues at the exhibition, which is again a new thing which has never been done before in any show. And uh, our Royal Arena is the main attraction for this show, which is why the people are very excited to actually meet the designers in person who have flown down. Divalicious this year has um, you know, fallen at the right season for me because it's the festive outburst that we're going to experience this Diwali, this um, you know, wedding season coming. So I've got a lot of interesting uh, ethnic and festive collection to offer, which is great. Be it uh, Bipasha Basu or be it uh, Deepika Padukone or Sonam Kapoor. And, the, the name of uh, Malaika Urakan. So fortunately, they're all like very much in love with my collection. They're pretty much in love with my collection and that uh, works for me and you know, I've been working with a lot of them.